What, what is that gadget? This is an iPhone. Yeah, I don't need a new one yet. Is that an iPhone? So the F-150 series was just released a few days ago and as the pre-orders are ongoing, one of the main questions is which iPhone are you going to get this time around? Hello guys and welcome back, this is Leslie Lenz. If you're new here, kindly hit that subscribe button. Apparently more than 96% of you guys who have been watching my videos have not yet subscribed to this channel. I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and also like the videos and share with your friends. This is where we talk about tech and everything related to new phones and releases. Apparently, according to statistics, an average person spends more than 3 hours and 15 minutes on their phones daily. And in the US, one among five spends up to four and a half hours on their phones daily. This is usually attributed by the high rise of short form content, especially on TikTok, YouTube, now the YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and every other platform is trying as much as possible to retain people into their platform. Now, you're asking yourself, why am I talking about this? Your phone is one of the most personal device that you end up buying, and you stay with it for many years, if not a couple of years. This is also hugely contributed by your personal preferences, making your phone one of the most personal devices that you own. So today I'm going to help you figure out which iPhone you should buy, especially on the iPhone 15 series that was just released. This is if you're going to upgrade from your current iPhone or if you're going to move from an Android to the Apple ecosystem. There are a couple of reasons why some Android users are most likely going to jump ship this time around and shift to the Apple ecosystem and I'm going to tell you why. So I'm going to make this easier for you. I'm not going to bore you with a lot of details as I'm going to divide this into two categories. One is the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus in one category. Two is the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max in one category. So let's start off with the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus. They came with one of the most beautiful colors. This is the bright colors of blue, green, pink and yellow. I don't think this is one of the main reasons as to why you're going to jump ship and buy a new iPhone just based on the new colors. But again, some people showed a lot of interest, especially on the light pink iPhone 15. If that is something that you're going to go for, then well, that is for you. The people who are most likely going to buy the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus are one, if you're a normal user, this is someone who uses their phone to text, to call, check on their emails, take photos of friends and family, and usual videos at home. This is not someone who is a heavy user, as you can already tell by these users. The iPhone 15 is going to be one of the best choices for you because you're going to utilize a whole 48 megapixel camera. It has the A16 Bionic chip, meaning it's going to be powerful. It's going to retain battery, most likely better than your previous phone. Another group is the group of people who have been using an iPhone, but specifically the iPhone 13s and the previous versions. Even the iPhone 14, but not the ones who have been using the iPhone 14 Pros and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I'll tell you the reason why. The people who have been using an iPhone 14 Pro and an iPhone 14 Pro Max basically will not see much improvement on the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus. The reason is the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max are quite similar with the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus. This is because the iPhone 14 Pros came with 48 megapixel camera. It also came with a dynamic island and together with the A16 Bionic chip, which is also available on the iPhone 15 and on the iPhone 15 Plus. The only difference is actually the outward design as the iPhone 15 series now come with curved edges while the iPhone 14 series came with sharp edges. I think now that is reason enough for you not to shift from the iPhone 14 Pros to the iPhone 15 base model and the iPhone 15 Plus, but rather you might want to consider the Pro versions again on the iPhone 15 series. If you're using an Android in the 48 megapixel and the USB-C are something of an interest to you, I would recommend that you buy the iPhone 15 because you'll not have to dig deep into your pocket to buy it. And again, it's going to be a testing ground for you for the first time. If it's something that you like in the long run, then that's well and good. But if at all you're not going to like the experience with the iPhone 15 or the iPhone 15 Plus, then at least you did not use a lot of money on buying it. Another group of people is the students and professionals who like taking notes. Now, I would recommend that you buy the iPhone 15 Plus because of the huge display. You're going to utilize the 6.7 inch OLED display, which is bright. It goes up to 2000 nits, one of the brightest smartphones out there. Okay, 
it doesn't be the Samsungs and the Xiaomi's, but again, that's a story for another day. It will be something that will be very easy for you to take notes with. And I believe iPhone knew this because they stopped production of the iPhone minis and they started the Plus series back on the iPhone 14 and now on the iPhone 15. So I believe this is something that you would want to go for because it has all these premium specs and also a larger battery that will last you for days. Now, to finish on the list, I would add that if at all you are a traveler, you might want to consider either the iPhone 15 or the iPhone 15 Plus. This is because it's sort of a camera in your pocket, but again, you're not a professional. You're someone who likes taking photos of birds, places, beaches, and all that. But again, you want to utilize the high quality of the iPhones on your photos and on your videos. The iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus will offer you that, and at the same time, they're not going to be that expensive for you. Now, talking about the price, so this is something that is a deal breaker to many people and it's also the reason why some people will get either the best model or the pro version when it comes to buying any kind of a phone because how deep your pocket is most of the times determines how far you're willing to go in buying a phone. So the iPhone 15 is going to go for 799 US dollars while the iPhone 15 Plus is going to go for $899. Price had already been speculated that it's going to be increased, but apparently it wasn't. And I think for the specs that you're getting, it is not a bad deal, I would say. Now let's head over to the pros. This is the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The Pro versions, as the name suggests, is meant for the professionals. And you're going to see that in a bit. Pro versions are going to come with different colors with the name Titanium. That is the blue titanium, natural titanium, black titanium, and the white titanium. The reason why they are called titanium is because of the materials that has been used in these pro versions. Apple this time around decided to use titanium and I've already talked about the reasons why in my past videos. I'll leave a link down below so that you can also check the same if you haven't. And this is something that many people are most likely going to go for, especially because of the general feel of the phone and also because of the prospects that we're going to talk about. Now, unlike the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus, the iPhone 15 Pro versions comes with an A17 Pro chip. They at least upgraded from the A16 Bionic chip, which makes the phone much more faster. The performance is incredible, as we've already seen and as Apple has already talked about. This is also something that's going to help a lot with battery drainage as many people had complained previously about the iPhone 15 Pro versions always draining its battery fast. I've also talked about that severally in my past videos. Now, whom are these phones made for? I would say basically it was meant for the professionals who mostly deal with film, content creators, tech enthusiasts. I'm not going to leave that group out of this because I'm also one of them professional gamers and artists who usually require high-end specs from phones and the iPhone Pro versions are the ones which are going to offer this. Just the same as the iPhone 15 base model, it's going to come with a USB-C, it's also going to come with a dynamic island. The iPhone 15 Pro is also going to be 6.1 inches while the iPhone 15 Pro Max is going to be 6.7 inches. That means it's going to be bigger and with the three cameras, it's going to be much heavier compared to the iPhone 15 base model and the iPhone 15 Plus. One of the main reasons why creators and filmmakers are going to choose the Pro versions is because of its cameras and the USB-C which comes in 3.0 version that is on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Apple in their keynote and also in their presentation have already shown us the iPhone 15 Pro Max in action while filming and they've also showed us that it can be used in a blockbuster film. This is specifically because of the 48 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel telephoto and 12 megapixel macro lens. The 12 megapixel telephoto goes up to 5 times zoom this time around and up to 25x zoom digitally. So this is a huge help, especially if you're a filmmaker or a professional photographer. You might get to a point where you'd want to take out your phone and shoot some content that otherwise would have been a little bit inconvenient while using a bigger camera. This is because of the lightweight and how easy it is to carry a powerful camera just on your hands. Again, the USB-C 3.0 is very useful because it has a data transfer speed of up to 10 gigabytes per second. Filmmakers and tech enthusiasts understand how useful this is because when you're out there, you're shooting content in ProRes, in RAW, you'd want to transfer this data as fast as possible from your phones to your computer for editing and to make the whole process seamless. So this is something that is practically convenient, especially for this group of people. And also to content creators, I would recommend that you take the iPhone 15 Pro. 
This is because if you're shooting for TikTok, Instagram, and all these social media content, you'd also need a high resolution camera which is the 48 megapixel. At the same time, you'd also want something that is a powerful zoom. You can easily utilize the 3X optical zoom that is being offered by the iPhone 15 Pro and get very high quality content for your social media feeds. Now, to gamers and artists, for example, designers, and mostly creators who utilize high-end softwares for rendering large files and also editing, would want a powerful phone such as the Pro and the Pro Max. This is because of the A17 Pro chip, which is more powerful compared to the A16 Bionic chip. This means that your phone is most likely not going to heat up easily. It's going to retain battery a lot. And it's also going to be flawless while you're working on the phone at the same time. What I can say is that there are so many people who are going to utilize the Pro versions on these two phones. And it's not just limited to this small group that I've already mentioned, but most likely these are the people who are going to benefit the most. I'm sure there is someone out there who is not going to utilize all these features but again they're going to buy this phone because they just want to experience a more premium device compared to other phones and other phone brands and i think i could be one of them i would really love to get the iphone 15 pro if at all i could afford that maybe i'll wait until next time among some extra features that maybe would also interest you is the ip68 rating that is water and dust resistance the action button which you can easily customize to whatever you want it to do Maybe you want it to be a flashlight, easy access to your camera, shortcuts, and all these other features that you mostly use. Also the own display, if you're someone who is into the same. Some people have complained about the feature draining battery, but if you're someone who is not bothered by that, then you can easily utilize the same. Now, talking about the price, it doesn't have a bigger difference compared to the iPhone 15 base model and the iPhone 15 Plus. The iPhone 15 Pro goes for 999 US dollars, while the iPhone 15 Pro Max goes for 1099 US dollars, that is 1099. Again, remember this is the 128 gigs. As usual, you can always upgrade the same to higher gigs of storage, especially if you're going to utilize the 4K on video and all these Pro features, especially on the cameras. You'd want to use at least 256 gigs or all the way to 512 and maybe even 1 TB if you're not going to get an external drive to shoot into. That's something that is happening already, by the way, if you didn't know that. You can easily connect your iPhone that is through USB-C to an external drive and shoot content directly into that external drive. I think I mentioned that before, but if it wasn't so clear enough, then that is it, that's clear now. Looking at all these features from these phones, you can easily tell and distinguish what works for you and what doesn't work for you. If you're someone who is mostly going to use your phone on creating content, then go for the pro versions. But if you're someone who is most likely going to consume content, then go for the best model and the iPhone 15 plus. It's almost as simple as that. But again, as usual, there are also preference, choice, and all these factors that you'd want to consider before buying another new phone. But most importantly, you now have the facts and knowledge at least to understand what you're getting yourself into and what kind of phone you're going to buy. So if this video has been helpful to you, kindly hit that like button and also share with your friends and family. I'll be back with more content. And if there is something that you'd like to add, leave a comment down below. I'm always going through all of my comments and I'll reply to the same. If there is any video that you'd like me to talk about, also comment down below and I'll work on the same. Thank you very much guys for getting up to this end. If you're new here, as usual, click that subscribe button. We are growing really fast. Uh, just a few days ago, we were at 100 subscribers. Now we are at 200 and growing. So the goal is to grow to 1,000 subscribers and more. But again, as I always say, that is not the main objective of this channel. The main objective is for you to learn and also to get to understand more about tech, especially phones and gadgets, something that maybe you didn't know or something that you are looking forward to. So I'll be here. I'll be here to talk about the same. And when you subscribe, you help me and you also motivate me to continue pushing on and giving you content. So thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Peace.